But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Matthew chapter 5 verses 44. Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovey Statue channel. Thank you so much for coming back. In today's recipe, I love to share with you how I made this delicious and very nutritious croaker fish stew. It comes with a hidden agenda, which I think you should stay tuned for it. You're going to absolutely love Let's it. Let's get started with it fam. So as always, I have every ingredient listed below in the description box, but let's go through it one by one. Here I have my washed and clean croaker fish. You can use any fish of choice. I also have my chopped tomatoes, tomato paste, and lots of vegetables here. Use any veggies of choice. I told you there's a hidden agenda. I'm going to show you how, okay? And I also have some ginger garlic seasoning and curry powder nutmeg and of course some salt so to begin with i like to season my fish with all purpose seasoning some curry powder and i also added my homemade all purpose natural seasoning i'm going to share the link here and below as well and of course some salt all you have to do here is to make sure that each and every fish you have in here is well seasoned okay so once you're done set it in the fridge allow it to rest for about 30 minutes before we go ahead and fry it so 30 minutes later we're ready to fry this fish we're going to add enough oil in our frying pan so once the oil heats up go ahead and drop all your fish and allow it to fry on each side for about five to seven minutes. i will usually not bother my fish for the first five to seven minutes before i start to turn it okay so i'm going to fry each on each side for about five to seven minutes and you get the most creepiest fish ever one important thing make sure you have enough oil and start by frying your fish on a high to a low heat all right As soon as you get your beautiful caramelized color, you know that your fish is now ready. This part absolutely is just so inviting. Go ahead and repeat the process until you're done frying all your fish. Just have a look at that. They look absolutely creepy. So we are done here. We're going ahead to go with the process of the stew making. So I told you from the beginning that this stew has a hidden agenda. And my agenda is to incorporate as many vegetables as possible. So I'm going to, instead of chopping it and put it in the stew, my kids really sometimes be a little bit picky so today i'm going to really really play with their minds i'm going to chop lots of vegetables and i'm going to blend it instead i just love this particular stew because the cooking time was not too long but it came out very tasty so i promise you if you have problems with having sour that sour taste in your tomato stews try this method try this recipe and you're going to thank me later here i'm going to add all the vegetables including the onions ginger garlic and the peppers oh my goodness it is just so easy with this recipe you may also choose to roast it in the oven before you blend it but trust me i just love how simple this was so now that we're waiting for all the vegetables to blend let's start off with the stew so i'm using the same oil i used to fry the 
fish because it has lots of flavors make sure you strain it just so that you don't have any you know particles in there. It's not very nice i'm starting off with my curry powder today just to give it the oil more fragrance and i'll fry it for about a minute and then throw in all those amazing chopped onions i'm going to make sure these are caramelized for about two minutes before i come in with my tomato paste and chopped tomatoes this stew was just incredible I cannot stretch how I love this stew recipe so much because basically it has no rules. All you have to do is throw everything you have in there, allow it to fry for about 40 minutes and that is it. Basically, that is it. So I added in my tomato paste and my chopped tomato and voila, I added all my blended vegetables and natural seasoning i make sure everything is well incorporated can you see the volume of the stew it just went all the way up that is what i'm talking about it's just so so amazing stir everything to combine add a couple of bay leaves for an amazing aroma and just like that cover it and allow it to fry for the next 45 minutes all right make sure you come in and check you need to stir darlings making sure that you don't have any burning bottom situation here okay yes it has a little bit of splatter in here so avoid it from her to make sure you lower the heat whenever you want to stir all right stir and go ahead and cover it once again and before you know your stew should be ready as long as you see these oil floating on top yes yes i know the oil police we're going to skim off all the excess oil right do not worry so now we're going to incorporate a lot more seasoning so i use one cube of fish bouillon and i added all purpose seasoning and my own homemade natural spice blend i also add about a teaspoon and grated nutmeg I love nutmeg in my stews. I don't think I could do away with it. It brings a lot of beautiful aromats to it. Just look at this. It is absolutely delicious. Last but not the least, we're going to season it with salt, which has to be according to your taste. Okay, stir everything to combine and of course allow it to simmer for about two minutes. Skim off the excess oil and you are good to go. So the perfect time for us to add our fish is about five minutes into calling this whole stew down. Okay, so we are not going to drop all our fried fish in here and add a bit of chopped onions. Allow it to simmer through for five minutes and our stew should be done. Oh, the aroma in here fam it is just so so amazing. You need to try this recipe because I know that you're going to absolutely love it and you're going to nail it as well just look at this beautiful stew packed with lots of vegetables that you're not going to be aware of just so good <laughs> so right now our gorgeous stew is done and we're going to now serve ourselves and enjoy life <laughs> you can also pair this with yam i had to pair it with some rice some fried plantain a bit of salad and oh boy it was a show show stopper it was so so good and look at that thickness and texture of the stew 
absolutely fragrant and very very delicious so there you have it family thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate your time and i hope you learned a tune or two here please be sure to share to a few friends and family and it's very very important not to forget to give me a thumbs up it really really helps this channel to grow thank you very much in advance and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovia's touch my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also do love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe <laughs> to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one bye <laughs>